So now what I do here is I go under view, I go under scene editor, and from here in scene editor I click on this icon here. And its description does not yeah, it doesn't have any real description, but it is a uh, an, an embrace chronicle file loader. And notice that it goes straight to the Chronicles directory. Now this is important that you put it in just the Chronicles directory because uh, Embrace primarily will only read this NSL file from that directory. If you try to put it somewhere else and try to load it, um, it's not going to work. So what you do is you just you choose it from the Chronicles, the NSL file we just created. Go open. And now from here we go pick a new scene from the Chronicle file. Now notice that our two scenes are popped in. Um, I'm going to choose the outside scene. And notice that it has our short description, tutorial outside scene. I'm going to click OK. And it has our long description as well. This scene contains fog, ambience, and music. So this is just an F for your own information. Now scenes can also deal with layers. You can add one layer or remove another layer or however you like. And in addition to that, I'm going to set up fog. And that's going to be set up to set to linear. The color of the fog, um, um, what color do I want? I want the fog to be gray. Uh, well, let me look in the back for a color. Um, I think a good gray color would be like 125 by 125 by 125, maybe. Um, okay, so we can also set a uh, clip distance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set a uh, distance of 400 between 400 and 1200, and a clip distance of 2000. And this particular scene is not going to have a sky. It's not going to have a sky on it. And for my sound, if you double, if you double click in the music track, it'll bring up the sounds folder. And you go under music. And I'm going to set a Nesca theme since the Nesca is on there. And then we set a volume. I'm going to set this to 70. And since it's foggy, let's add a little bit of wind. Let's go into stereo ambience. Be sure to set this to MP3 files. And um, I'm going to add an eerie wind, make it kind of spooky outside. And it's going to be kind of at a lower volume. And you can also set your EAX. Uh, um, settings for those who uh, want to enable that kind of thing. Personally, I don't use it. Then we got flags here. Um, I don't use those flags um, much. But apparently you could set this flag and say that it's exterior for some reason. And that's pretty much it. So we just created our outside scene. Before we exit out of here, be sure to save this scene and then ex exit. So when you go back into that scene editor, there it is. It's been retained. So on a static layer here, we don't have any music. We have a have the typical sky though, but on our custom scene, we just change what the sky is. And this custom scene now uses fog. So let's head on out. All right. Also, while we're at it, since we created this uh, layer. Let's also fix up uh, the description of our uh, door here to override the name prop here because uh, when you highlight over it, it says prop. So what you do is you press, you, you uh, select the uh, template, press N, go into overrides, and under description ID, you can change the name. And I'm just going to call it house. And I'm going to apply the ID to it. That should, and let's add a uh, let's add a uh, scene for our inside map. So I'm going to save this. Also, um, 
Since we already did a full export before, we can now do an objects only export. And what this will do is export just our scenes. So notice that the export is caught that my maps outside scene it just created a my maps outside scene one dot nsd file and we're going to load that into our chronicle so um, to properly make a uh, scene you have to have a layer assigned to it you have to have something in a layer so what we're going to do is I'm going to create an object that's going to be stored um, in the layer. So I'm going to press N. I'm going to create um, another NPC. And who should I put in here? How about Joseph? I'll put Joseph in here. And let's make sure that he's properly aligned. and make sure his orientation I'm gonna set his orientation next to the mirror so he's kinda of looking diagonal what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set him up on this scene here so I'm going to select him I'm going to right click and move to current scene so now when I press L again there he goes, Joseph is assigned to that scene. Alright, since we added Joseph, we can also um, override Joseph's name as well. So press N, go into Overrides, under Description ID, you can just scroll down to it. Under Description ID, we can change his name to Rick or something, whatever you want, and apply that ID to him. And we're also going to fix up the, uh, the door um, the exit door because it says prop when you highlight it so let's uh, let's change that to something uh, more meaningful like outside and apply that ID every custom scene that you make has to have some kind of object stored on a layer and a layer of some kind needs to be assigned to that scene otherwise you're gonna get duplicate static objects uh, apparently uh, the engine uh, will duplicate everything in the static layer if there is no sub layer assigned to a scene whatever I'm going to go into the scene editor and we're gonna have to set up the file we're gonna have to load inside I'm gonna go into the custom scene that I created and then add the Joseph layer to that scene but I will have sound. Um, I'm going to set it to a conversation sound at 70. And we'll have an empty Vienna house as ambience. I'll set that to 30. And there's no sky or render changes, so I'm not going to mess with that. So the save and exit. And now we're ready to save the map and export. We can do a quick object export since we already have done the full export before. So quick object, this object only, only works if you have prior done a full export. So now it just created our inside map. So now when we go into our My Maps, we now have two new NSD files. 